beautiful people how are you hopefully you guys are doing well i created this look hopefully you will enjoy watching this look go ahead and get started with my naked face here you go so for the sake of the video i already have the foundation and concealer i since i don't have any concealer and foundation from uh, Victoria Beckham's website. I didn't buy any, I don't, I don't even know if she sells it. My uh, foundation and concealer on. So now I am going to put a bronzer on. For my bronzer, I'm going to obviously use this one right here. This is all like the first impressions, basically I've never used it. And I have the number four here. So I have no clue how it's gonna look on my face um, and how it's gonna apply. So this is a bronzer and a contour. So I'm gonna do contour first. For the contour, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury, this little brush right here. And I'm just gonna basically contour as usual. And the color is pretty good, although it's kinda reddish and a little bit darker, but I do like it. This thing is very, very pigmented. Mm, I do like it. For my liking, I do like it. You guys probably thinking like, okay, that is way too much. But see the difference? This side is so like flat and it gives me like that chisel out look. So I do like that. Now I'm gonna use really tiny, which I didn't think. And now this side is much better. Or more. Okay, so the first impressions, of course, I love the contour that it gave me. I am so happy that I picked that darker shade, which is number four or number four. So I'm going to use the other part. So far, so good. Oh, the number or the lighter shade is also pretty dark. Hmm. Which is good. I'm not unhappy at all. I actually impressed that it has that warmth that I'm looking for in a bronzer. So I and it's kind of powdery. It's kicking up from that corner. I don't know if it's breaking off, but it's kind of powdery. So I'm just gonna clean up because I don't like my makeup to be all powdery and messy. So I do like it. First impression, it's really nice. And it did work for my skin tone. If you're my uh, complex, then I would suggest if you like to have this kind of chiseled and heavier contour, then definitely uh, I would recommend this shade for you. And if you're wondering like what uh, is my foundation shades and all that, I'll have that on my description box. If you click on it and go on the uh, click on more, you'll see it's all listed down. And if you are a shade of mine, this right here, would be something like this for your skin as well so now i am going to use this product which is lipstick as a multitasking product okay i can't even open it wow um as a multitasking product what i mean by that is I'm going to put it on my cheek to see if this is going to be good for like what you call it um blush cream blush that's what i meant so let's see let's see i'm just gonna put it on top of my cheekbone as usual like i would for any cream blushes so let's see if i made a mistake or not now the color that i have here is jump that's the shade for lipstick so let's see if the lipstick's gonna do the job for my my uh cream blush now keep in mind, I put it on top of the powder, so it might be disaster. I don't know what I just did, but we'll see. It is not recommended that, I don't know if it if it's, but I don't think it's recommended to use it on your cheek, but I'm just gonna use it because I don't have the blush product and it looks like it, but it's not, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's not actually recommended. That's what I meant to say. It doesn't look as bad, it's blending out, I mean, except for, I don't know if you can catch right here. It's like being stubborn. Obviously, because, you know, it's not a recommended for your cheek. So, okay, so I put a little, and I put a little too much on this side. So this side looks kind of too much, 
but it'll all work out once I um, like have the highlights and everything. So, so far it's okay. I wouldn't recommend to put lipstick on your cheek unless you have to and you're, you're in a hurry, just little, put it on your fingertip and go like that, not to drag it on your face, which I did, but just a, you know, lesson learned. Don't do that. <laughs> but so yeah, it doesn't look that bad. So yeah, I guess it's a multitasking for me, for me, but I'm not recommending you should do that. Okay, so the next thing I have here is my eyeliner and my uh, uh, also my uh, glitter. Here is chiffon, glitter uh, shadow, I mean chiffon. And my eyeliner I have here is the bronze, I believe this is the bronze one, yes. And what I want to do is use the bronzer to kind of give me the contour shade on my eyelids. I'm gonna use a both side for my basically bronzer for my contour. It's a rougher number 15. I'm using the darker and the lighter shade side, I mean, to bronze up my lid. It'll work just fine. It looks just fine. You know, I obviously you guys knew that a bronzer can be used like eyeshadow so it's nothing wrong with it now what i want to do is use the bronzer or bronzy eyeliner pen kind of all over my eyelid and then put that on top of it okay so i love the way it looks already it's like a it's not actually bronze only, if almost like an olive bronze. It's this beautiful shade. My goodness, I'm glad that I picked this one up. It's really creamy and it's so pretty. Love it. You can just leave the look like, like right now and call it good. But I have this chiffon shimmery powder, so I'm going to definitely put that on. Shade is so pretty. I'm loving it. It's so beautiful. Love it. With the green eyes, if you have green eyes, you have a perfect shade. Definitely recommend that. Now I'm using this chiffon glittery eyeshadow-ish. I don't know what you call this thing. My brain doesn't work every time I sit down to do makeup uh, videos, I mean. So I'm just going to use my fingertip and grab on Oh, this looks so beautiful. So excited to put this on. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Can you guys see it? Oh, this is so pretty. Wow, I like both looks, but this one definitely calls for a party. This one more like subtle-ish. Um, I, it reminds me, this uh, shade right here, this uh, olive tone, reminding me of uh, Charlotte Tilbury, one of the, um, something like that she has. I'll put a picture right here if I can find it, or on the side, uh, as you can see, that's the shade I love using. It's so easy, like one and done kind of a shadow, but this one is so pretty too. You can definitely use this on top of anything or you can just use this as I just did. So it's so pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> How many times can I say pretty in this one video? You can tell I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for my under eyes right here. And I'm also using it like eyeliner. So just gave me a little wings on the outer corner. Same one here. It's so pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. Now for my mascara, I'm going to, actually before that, let me contour a little more with my bronzer because it does need a little bit of blending. So I'm gonna use the bronzer again and use the Riffer 15, both sides. Tap off the excess. Cute, I like it. All right, for my mascara, obviously, I uh, they're the only mascara they have. 
I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm using rougher uh, curler in case if you're wondering. And this is their mascara. I wasn't gonna open it, but for the sake of the video, I am going to. And this is the one right here. And let's see what it does for my eyelash-ish, eyelashes. <laughs> I have very like spiky lashes. I don't have thick volume lash. So I hope this does not look like spider webs. I have heard great thing about this mascara. I'm excited to see what it does for my lashes here. I do have long lashes, but I, I don't have volumes as you can see. Oh, great. Look what I just did. Now, anything like that happens, you know the t uh, trick. Leave it on. Don't bother. It's bothering me right now as I'm speaking, but just leave it on. Take it off when it's dry. Because if you mess with it when it's wet, it's going to smear everywhere. So this mascara right here, as you see, I've been like putting it on and on and on. It's kind of dry. It's not like it's new, so probably because of that reason. But I like my lashes. I do have very long hair on my uh, lashes. So it does uh, like goes under right here, which I can clean it up. It's not a big deal. But this mascara, as a first impression, it's very dry. It's not like coating my lashes well, which probably it'll break it down as I keep using in future. Um, right now, it's not giving me what I'm looking for. I, I want more volume. I know I have a length, but I just need more volume and thicken my lashes. I don't like to look like a spider, spidey kind of lashes, you know what I'm saying? Um, so because of that reason, uh, as of right now, I'm not a fan. So let me put the mascara on the side. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did clean up the extracts as, that you saw. It's still like you can see the spot, but I would definitely recommend these kind of like pointy, um, what you call these things, the Q-tips, makeup tips, whatever. Uh, just clean up with that. Or also you can do is uh, you can with the spoolie like this, you can brush it off as well. So those are the tips. Now, my mascara, they look okay. This one came out to be a little bit better than this one. I don't know why, but I guess because, you know, it's so brand new. So because of that reason, now it's probably going to be better. So they do look much better uh, with like the two, three coats. And this one is much better than that one, as you just uh, heard I mentioned. Looks so cute. I really like the way my eyeshadow came out. That was very nice with these two items and the bronzer you know what i'm saying when you have no product to use or if you're in like situation where you didn't bring your eyeshadows and you have just a glitter obviously you can use your bronzer and your highlights and stuff like that for my lip liner i bought number two this is the shade now i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips Pretty, nothing that extra, you know what I'm saying, like anything different. It's cute. I would say just basic lip liner. Uh, would I fall in love later? Maybe, I don't know. But would I go out and get that lip liner or any other liners? I don't think so because I actually do like my Natasha Denona and Charlotte Tilbury. So that one is just mm, all right, average. You know, if you have uh, something from Charlotte uh, Tilbury, then you're fine. Um, but if you want some from um, Victoria Beckham's website, sure, why not get it? Now, my lipstick, I'm using the Jump, as you saw earlier. I used this one for my cheek color. So, it's uh, this is the color it looks like on the lips. So pretty. I actually do like these lipsticks 
Matter of fact, this is funny because I don't use these kind of sheeny lipsticks as much, but I've, I've been into, and this lip color right here is so pretty. But I don't know how, if it's gonna pair this color with that, but you know what? For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoy me creating this look and wasn't too boring. And obviously I didn't have a bunch of stuff like a highlighter, setting powder, foundation, concealer, um, and then, you know, uh, blush also. Um, I did not buy the blush and the eyeshadow as well because, you know, I just was not ready to splurge on those yet. But I thought, you know, I could do uh, multitasking with the lip lipstick, which I tried to do it. And as you saw, uh, so and then also for the um, eyeshadow, what I brought here is what I did. Uh, so I didn't buy the eyeshadow quad like the, you know, the eyeshadow palette. So obviously, as you see or as you just saw what I how I created hopefully you did like it if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please take a moment to subscribe and if you're my fellow subscriber hi how are you and if you're not my fellow subscriber and if you just joined to watch this video hey how are you hopefully you guys all are doing well please don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and yeah i will catch you on my next video hopefully right right okay and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and take off today all right see you next time bye happy holidays